Hi guys and welcome back to another video here on my channel. So today I'm going to show you how I do the creator sims uh, or how I edit the creator sims videos because as you guys may know I have different backgrounds on every single creator sim I do like to match the theme of the creator sim. So uh, for example the toddler video as you can see here the toddler video has like this paint splatter background-ish kind of thing. I don't know what to call it, but like they have uh, this background. So now I'm going to show you how to make this background in uh, Sony Vegas Pro uh, 13, I think I have. So the first thing you have to do is to download a green screen background for your creator sim. So if you search for create a sim background, background if I can type green screen and then um, this will pop up I think and you can download uh, the file right here so if you go and download this uh, right here you can download let's see if you pick on this one and then we download it how do we download it we download it like maybe if we click on it first and then we can find the solid green background and then we download it so now we have downloaded this file and then we can go into our folder right here and then go to let's see where do I have these things so then you go to downloads my computer is in the region so I'm so sorry for this but this is the uh, package file you need to have and then you go uh, you can just copy this copy then you go to documents electronic arts the sims 4 and then mods and here you can see that i don't have any mods in my game but these ones um because i have taken them out because of the toddler creator sim so okay i'm trying to explain this as good as i can now and i hope you understand me so the thing you do is just pass this in here and then you get the green screen creator sim. So now I'm going to hop right into the sims and I will show you there. So now that we are in the sims you can just click on make a new household and then you can see right here that this is all green. And this is because when I take the background away it's just going to be... Uh, the sim you can see and uh, the stuff right here and... Yeah, like that, because uh, green is a color that isn't very, it doesn't, it isn't, I don't know how to explain this, but like green is a color that isn't used that much as, for example, red. So if you had a red background, the jacket is going to go away and stuff like that. So I hope I explain this good enough i don't know and i do not know if you can do this in any other program probably you can but i don't know how to do it i just know how to do it in sony vegas pro because that's the program i use and i'm also going to show you how to do remove the background f uh, in photoshop cs6 i think i have uh, so we're just going to take a screenshot of this guy then we click on the uh, key c Kissy. <laughs> so now we have taken a screenshot of this guy and we're just going to use this as a template, <laughs> I guess, for the uh, editing. So now we're going to hop right into uh, Sony Vegas Pro and, and I'm going to show you right there. So this is Sony Vegas Pro and uh, yeah, this is the editing program I use. I really like this editing program. I have never had any issues with this and I just really like it. So this costs a lot of money. <laughs> so if you don't have a lot of money, you can use um, like Movie Maker to edit uh, easy videos. You can do this in uh, Movie Maker. I think I do not know actually. I used to use Movie Maker before, but I didn't do this uh, advanced, if I can call it that, editing then. So. Now I just know how to use this program. So let's just find the file of uh, this sim right here. So let's see. We can see right here that we were doing, talking with this about this sim um, 
before. So here you can see that the background is green and that's how it is supposed to be. So now I'm just going to find a picture as I can use for <laughs> that I can use for a background. And let's see here, I have a folder filled with backgrounds. So let's just use these skies right here because it's pretty. So then uh, I'm just going to, uh, oh my God. Uh, like crop this because it was a little bit too uh, short like this so if you want this to be the background the skies to be the background of this video the all you have to do is to go here on chroma care 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 I don't know how to pronounce that but you just go on chroma care <laughs> and just pick the default and drag it on the clip right here and then this pops up and then you have to click on the blue color and this uh, I don't know dropper thing and then just click on the green and now you can see that this is the background isn't that cool oh my god and now I'm go just going to say something as you probably saw uh, before this jacket was actually green but since this is a green screen, it's going to take away the green colors of, um, like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, this is supposed to be green, but since this is green, and the green screen, that cancel out the greens. I don't know, I, tr like, just... Just do what I do, and it will probably, probably work. <laughs> oh my god. So, as you can see, if I take it down, um... If we take back, so if you do this, you can see here that this was green. And if you take this on top and do wait a second, if you do this and this and this and just look at this jacket, you can see that it's not green anymore. So that's uh, a little bit of a bad thing with this, but what can you do? I just really like that I can change the background of every single video. So this is how I do that. And now I'm going to show you how to do it in Photoshop as well. So now we are in Photoshop and I'm just going to find the picture of this dude. Uh, let's see, here he is. And very nice picture. <laughs> so I have been using Photoshop since I was like 10 years old. So I have a lot of experience 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 I don't know <laughs> with uh, Photoshop so I have used it for a while so to remove this green background uh, it's very 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 easy the only thing you have to do is to hold down alt and click two times on this layer so it's not locked because if it's locked you can do this so just click on it twice and um, when you press down alt and this is free now so if it, it's locked, we can't move it. So let's see right now. So uh, next thing you have to do is to click on select and then color range and then um, just click on the green. And now this is marked. So one thing I do before I delete the background is to click on select again, modify, expand and have it on one. And then it just gets rid of all the green and then just click on delete. So now all the green is gone. And I think this is very helpful if I want to have a background for the thumbnails and stuff like that. So let's see, where's the sky? So let's just take this, this picture right here and just do like this. And now this is the background. So this is super easy, but the only thing, you need to have a green screen background in your Kratosim. And it's very easy, it's just like a regular custom content file because it's a package file but it's like a mod and not a custom content so that's the difference between a mod and a custom content file because it's the same file but it's different in another way oh my god i'm so bad at explaining but i really hope you understand what i mean and this is super easy if you just practice and if you like are working with computers and you know a little bit of this stuff um it's very easy so this is actually how you do it so 
Yeah, it's super easy and I really hope you understood what I was uh, supposed to tell you because I'm so bad at explaining as I have said like two or three times now. And uh, yeah, I just have gotten so many questions on how to do this and I just want to help you guys out if you are going to start a YouTube channel and you don't know a lot about editing and... Uh, yeah, so this was just a quick little tip from me, and I don't know if I have anything else to say. I think I'm just going to end this video right here, and I really hope you learned something. And if you liked this video, please do give it a big thumbs up, leave all your comments and suggestions down below, subscribe for more, and I will speak to you all in my next video. Bye guys! Bye.